Hello guys, my name is Volo and in today's video we will compare Lovable and Bubble. To start with, the fundamental difference is that Lovable is an AI app generator, aka Vibe coding tool. At the same time, Bubble is a full stack drag and drop no code platform. The difference is in Lovable you can describe what you want to build in plain English and it will generate an app for you. While in Bubble you have to visually develop your interface and design your workflows, the logic of your app. While Bubble also have this feature where you can specify the app in plain English, it's very limited and fundamentally Bubble is a drag and drop no code visual development platform. Quick note, in this video I've compared Lovable and Bubble using main critical parameters, but if you want to access a full breakdown where we visualize the comparison over 20 plus aspects, you can find a link to access this file in the description to this video. Now let's try to create something in Lovable. So here I ask Lovable to create me an Airbnb clone, as you can see it's loading. Now let's show an app that we've built in Bubble, which is also an Airbnb clone. And as you can see, this is Bubble Editor. I had to drag and drop all these elements into the page. I had to visually design workflows like in Zapier. I have here a built-in database. In Lovable, you don't have such comprehensive UI updates capabilities. You don't have such a comprehensive elements tree editor where you can actually add inputs. You only have to prompt Lovable like in ChatGPT. Here actually the result that we got, Lovable generated an Airbnb clone. We can test it. It doesn't have the logic like the backend functionality. I cannot book anything. It's not clickable here, but I can provide additional prompts to add these functionalities. As I said, Bubble also have this feature to generate apps with AI, but it's limited to 2500 characters and it's critical. Why is this critical? Because you can use different prompting techniques. One of them is to use open source libraries like Aura and here, for example, you can find a component that you like, for example, this incredible piano and I can go to Lovable and I can ask it please build me and I just provide the code this code is like 20,000 plus characters most of the components like they are the, the source code is more than 2500 characters in Bubble you cannot upload an image like you can do in Lovable. In Lovable, you can literally upload the screenshot of your favorite app like Asana or Gmail and it will build the same app for you. You cannot do this in Bubble, this is critical. When it comes to visual development in Lovable, Bubble definitely beats Lovable here. They spent 13 years building this editor and these capabilities. As of now, in Lovable, it's pretty limited. You have to prompt lovable to modify functionality, add new features. What I can do here, I have edit button and here I can modify margins, padding, the colors. I can also provide additional prompt to, for example, change the color to red and it will refer to this particular element and it will update the application. Once the application is bigger, it becomes harder and harder to provide additional prompts. Sometimes you might face errors and sometimes you, you will even need to restart the whole project from scratch. That's why this is much faster approach building apps, but it also have disadvantages. Another disadvantage was this AI coding tools, AI app generators. They use AI behind the scenes and you can always trust AI. For example, Jason, who is the founder of Suster, accidentally he rewritten their live database with Replit, which is a similar platform to Lovable. You can always trust AI. You always have to have human in the loop who is also a programmer. Jason is not a programmer here is he's a business person so he didn't know that this this can happen and uh, actually the ai the llm that is behind the scenes claude 
can lie. And uh, they actually claim this in their documentation plot themselves. While in, in Bubble, you know exactly what you put inside your application. That's why bigger companies, enterprise companies, are not using Lovable yet. Platforms like Lovable, they're building uh, different guard rails, tooling, the control AI. It's still uh, risky for bigger companies where they have all these compliances. While Bubble is used by enterprise companies and is used actually for building more complex apps. Companies like HubSpot, Danone, uh, Unity, they actually use Bubble. They have an enterprise plan. They are compliant. So I would say Lovable is good right now for quick quick demos. Prototyping, as you can see, we've, we've just built this beautiful demo of a piano and I can actually go here and play. That's that's very, very cool. Uh, you can build MVPs with Lovable. For more complex apps, I would rather use Bubble. You also can use Bubble for MVPs, but I would say Lovable is much faster. Another pitfall that Bubble has, you cannot export the source code. You are locked in. And in, in Lovable, you do have an integration with GitHub and you can export the source code. This is uh, critical aspects for many founders and business owners who want to build the application. So you might also consider this aspect. If you want to get access to a more comprehensive comparison, when I br break down Lovable and Bubble using 20 plus parameters, you can go down into the description of this video where I have a link where you can actually download this comprehensive comparison when I where I also compared pricing, deployment and other aspects. So please go check it out. If you need any help building your app either in Lovable or Bubble, you can reach out to me. I will also provide the links in the description. So that's it for today guys and thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. Also like this video and comment. Thank you.